everyone, this is Raxaden and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. In this video, I'll be running today's Time Challenge event and also the Moon Gem Cup for our very first Moon Gem, required to upgrade the reversed Proud Keyblades over level 25. But let's begin with the Time Challenge. So 40 seconds for the for all the rewards. Let's go and see what it looks like. Okay, so this just seems like a mazy thing. <laughs> just like the ones we had some time ago. So here it is. That was easy. <laughs> so I think the copter fleet at the beginning was just a shortcut so that if you have the power you can defeat that one and run straight to the target. But as you can see there's no actual need for any fights. Just... What? Why they're not 200 uh, Okay That's strange Very strange It's usually 200, am I wrong? Am I wrong? But okay, let's move on and Let's go Run this Moonjang Cup Now, this is my go to set up for everything since I pulled Sephiroth. As you can see there's a 0.2 carry with no traits, no guilt and defense boost 4. No guilt and no traits 2 for Tifa and Aerith. And I'm still trying to decide what skill I would like to put on her. Because I used defense boost 2 for the ice core challenge. Well, let's move on. Here's Carry, my ice core challenge carry, with the second chance to and no dots, no levels, just to keep the air damage as low as possible. So here's Sephiroth, my beautiful Sephiroth with no traits, obviously. <laughs> And last but not least, the key art sky. Now I'm still trying to decide if I want to put an attack boost 4 plus Lux on this medal. But I don't know yet, so let's move on. And I'll be bringing a EX cloud with me just to make sure. <laughs> Okay. A healer for our first battle. So they don't have that much HP, so let's just activate everything. And it should bomb should be more than enough. Oh, okay, so it's that kind of quest where you have to go out and go back in to the same stage. Okay, quite a few HB bars, bar, but it's a single target. Okay, here I'm just thinking of other setups that could do the job. Okay, these ones have some buffs on them, but not that many HB bars. Mm -hmm. Oh, a counter. Oh, 
found quite a few HB bars again. Okay, moving on. Oh, so here's the target. Oh, wow. Okay, you'll definitely lead, need some power for this last battle. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that I can say that you don't need EX medals at all for this quest. I really thought that this would be much more difficult to complete. And oh, here's, here are the rewards with that beautiful Boon Jam and Fantasia Mickey B. What I was saying. Oh, yeah. You should really be able to complete this quest with some decent setup. There's no actual need for OP medals or whatsoever. So all the enemies in this are magic ones. So Lady Luck, Sleeping Lion and Divine Rose too should really help you. Just bring a, a, your strongest setups for this attribute. And you should be fine. Okay, let's see what the upgrade looks like. Ooh, finally. Nice. Well, you know, I'm not that sure I want to upgrade it yet. Because mm, that's not that big of an upgrade. And more than anything else, it's on the first two slots. So they're not regarding the damage. Mostly. Uh, I don't know. Well, you know, feel free to tell me in the comment section if you think that I should upgrade the Dark Note or not. Because I think that for now I'm okay with the level 25. Since we don't know how many and how we we are going to get the moon gems. But this is what the upgrade looks like and that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!